Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Scorpio. This is for the week of November 18th through the 24th. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind that not every reading is for you. Don't try to make it for you. If it's for you, great. Sometimes bits and pieces will be and not the rest. I feel, it's funny because I just heard the heat come on, and the minute I heard it, I thought, the heat is on. The heat is on. So keep that in mind because I just feel that just happened instantly and that's what came to my mind. Tell them that the heat is on. So the heat is on. Whatever that means, the heat is on. Um, so anyway, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's just see what comes up for the week of November 18th to the 24th. We're going to start right here with one of these. What are we? And this is going to be delivered in the upright position, but we're going to see how it comes out. Uh, what do we have for Scorpio? Action. It did come out reverse. Somebody hasn't been taking action, but I think action is about to happen. Okay, it's going to happen. And I think something's going to change really, really fast. Things may have set, felt like they were dormant. Or they may have felt like nothing was happening. <laughs> Get ready. Get ready, Scorpio. Get ready for some action. This is like somebody's right on another person's tail. Okay? Somebody's about to get caught by the looks of things. Um, they may be going to greener pastures. I just happened to notice the green pastures. Um... It's like you can't get away from this either, so don't think that you can. Something is happening in action. Lights, camera, action. <laughs> That's what I got to say. And, and this equals an eight, which is change. It's change. So something is going to change really, really fast, okay? We're going to get some of these before we use that deck right there. What do we have for Scorpio? Couple of cards for Scorpio. Well, there's one. Well, there we go. I love it when that happens, don't you? What do we got for Scorpio? For the week ahead. I think we should start right here, don't you? Sun! Happiness and well being. So some sort something is happening that is going to make you very, very happy. I don't know if you have Libra in your chart or you're dealing with a Libra, but for the Libra reading, uh, sun came out very prominent for me. It, stu it, stu it stood out. So there's a lot of happiness to be had here. Um, happiness and well-being. Whatever action is being taken, it's going to make you happy. Oh, we got four. Rainbow. The most difficult part of a situation is over. I mean, it, the fantastic. This is peace. Okay, so you're gonna. You're. This is gonna be great. Okay, you got happiness and peace. Difficulties are gonna be coming to an end. Purse, pay attention to your finances this week. And goldfish, increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. You may get an increase in some, some, some sort of money or abundance or stability or whatever it is. There's going to be an increase of everything, Scorpio. Whatever is happening, it looks really, really good for you. Okay? Uh... Things are about to change in a very positive manner. So let's see what we got. The most difficult part of a situation is over. It's over. You're going to be shining. You're going to be glowing. Things are, this is look bright. Things are going to be bright. It's like there's things are going to be brighter, a lot brighter than they have been. It's funny I mentioned greener pastures. Absolutely. Ooh, five of swords. You may have been brought down by another person. 
somebody that uh, didn't care if they hurt you, and this could this could always go vice versa. But this is this is um, somebody that is very controlling and doesn't care who they hurt. This person um, just wants to win a battle. Okay, this person is struggling with themselves, and when they can bring another person down, it feeds their ego. So that is whoever you're dealing with. Justice, and it's funny that I mentioned Libra. You may be dealing with a Libra, but it could be dealing. You could be dealing with somebody else as well. But this is there's unfair treatment here. Somebody hasn't been treated fairly. We got somebody here that doesn't want to be held accountable for their actions. They're very selfish. They lie. <laughs> very untrustworthy individual. You're dealing with somebody who uh, is nasty. A nasty liar. There's dissatisfaction here. We got somebody that's in a situation that isn't very abundant. There's not a lot of happiness. And it could be this person that's miserable. You could be dealing with somebody who's absolutely miserable. There's a lack of emotion. We got somebody here that is, is emotionless. But this is the action. This is taking action. Finding the confidence to stand up for yourself. <laughs> Some of you may have your heart set on somebody who is literally un emotionally unavailable. They may present to you. They may say to you that they're everything. They may come across that they're everything. But they're not. They're not. Now this guy, he takes action. The King of Wands is somebody who takes action. Very strong. <laughs> we have to clarify this card. So Scorpio, I think that you have been in an unfair situation where you were treated unfairly by another person who just probably doesn't know how to love. And all they care about is themselves. Very selfish energy. But this is taking action. Things are about to change. And I think that somebody may be finding their confidence to take action. Because this guy is given to take action. It's like he gets this sudden vision that it's time. It's time to go. It's time to do this. And he does it. I'm going to put that right here. You may be, may be starting over on a new path. You may get this creative uh, inspiration, this creative spark, this creative idea that springs you into action. Helps you to break away from this person that has brought you down. Anyway, this is starting fresh with a clean slate. Leaving all the baggage behind, just leaving it something behind, and that is that. So you're going to be starting over someplace, starting from scratch, leaving leaving this manipulative situation behind you. It's going to be behind you. You could have a protector that helps. There could be somebody that helps you even. Could be somebody in protection, protection services. This is a protector of some sort. Now, this could be you protecting yourself from this controlling individual who doesn't care who they hurt. Yeah, there's no there's no there's no desire to be there anymore, right? There's no attraction left there. It's like I'm done with it. It's like that that went south a long time ago. This is leaving, dropping some sort of baggage and starting over, headed in a new direction. It's like this is exciting, even though you've been in a situation that had no growth, that had no fertility because you were so controlled. You were under somebody else's control. But things are about to change. The Knight of Coins reversed. Somebody wasn't being practical. They weren't being realistic. They didn't follow through with the plan. 
they aren't stable, they aren't secure. Something to do with an empress here. It could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. This is a rebirth or it could be a reconciliation between mother and child. Okay. Um, there's a birth. There's a birth. There's a delivery. There's a blessing that is coming for you, Scorpio. There is a blessing that is coming after being in a situation where you were... It's like you were... You were in an unbalanced situation that was weighing you down. This is weighing you down, weighing you down, both of these cards. You were being weighed down by a, another person that was so controlling that it was like stealing your energy, stealing your drive, stealing your mojo. But this is coming to a complete halt. This is a rebirth. This is a renewal. This is a new life. A new life. This is the beginning of a new life. This is a blessing. This is a miracle. Freedom. Birds are a symbol of freedom. You may be coming together with somebody that is so nurturing. This person is grounded. This person is motherly. This person is so much. She has so much love and abundance to offer. This is unconditional love. So you may be moving towards somebody that is total unconditional love. This is a Taurus or a Libra by the looks of things. It doesn't have to be, but <sighs> we have somebody here that had some hidden agendas and somebody that's been through a repression. And you may, may be unaware that things are about to change really fast, but things are. Somebody's been in a dissatisfying situation with somebody that presented themselves to be it. You know, I'm everything you ever asked for. Bullshit. Complete lie. So I think that you're about to receive some sort of blessing. Things are coming to a complete halt. They absolutely, with the Knight of Coins reverse and the Knight of Wands, something is coming to a ca this injustice. Whoever you are dealing with may get some karma, some bad karma for their dirty deeds, for their acts, for their, their, uh, hidden agendas. They, it may be revealed, put it that way. You are dealing with somebody who does not know how to love. The Knight of Cups reversed. The Page of Cups reversed. This may have be looked real in the Nine of Cups reversed. It looked really, really good on the surface. But that's all it was, was looks. And I feel like there's there's a relationship here that it has gone south really, really fast. And it's coming to an end. Or it has come to an end. And I think that you are going to be deepening a bond with somebody else that can actually love you. Somebody that will love you. Somebody that will take care of you. That's what I think is going to happen. You're going to be working together with somebody new. Somebody that will actually work with you and compromise and communicate. Whoever you were dealing with was so shallow and controlling. They didn't want to communicate. They didn't. All they wanted to do was be in control. And every time you tried to even put any two cents in, you were wrong no matter what anyway. So anyway, I feel like you're going to be working together with somebody else. There is a relationship that is going probably going to come to a complete halt. I think that somebody has been it, repressed by another person. They probably had their heart set on this fantasy, whatever it was, you know. This person presented themselves to be it, to be the everything. And you it's like you you realize that, that that's not it. Or somebody realizes it. So I feel as though some sort of wish is going to be be, be granted. This is a wish being granted. And you're going to be shining so bright. I know that you are. I can tell by that sun card as well. Something is going to happen for you. You're, this is a blessing and this is a blessing. Scorpio, be prepared to receive some sort of blessing this week. Some sort of blessing. Some sort of healing. Some sort of gift perhaps. 
it's the end. It's there's somebody has been lying. They have been not telling the truth. Whoever that person is, remember this can go vice versa. They're going to get some karma. They are going to get some karma and it isn't going to be pretty karma. And the other person is going to be shining bright. Very, very bright. It's, you're, you're going to receive some sort of blessing this week. One more card for Scorpio. Leaving all that baggage behind. Whatever this blessing is, it's going gonna, it's gonna to put you on a new journey. It is. You're going to be starting over, completely over. And you're going to be working with somebody else that can actually love you. This is taking back control. This is heaven versus hell. This is a card of heaven. It is. So this is taking back control from an unhealthy situation. This is freedom. Freedom from control. You are going to be freed from somebody's control. You are. And you're going to be headed down a new path. You're going to be headed towards unconditional love that's what's happening it's like this is exciting it's an op exciting opportunity to start over with somebody that is abundant tender loving caring nurturing this person is beautiful this person has a beautiful soul good luck